In one of the most baffling questions of the modern era, Victoria's Secret went from this... I would say a sweet and vulnerable angel... ...to this... Sexy can be coming through you. Again, the fact that I feel comfortable in it. company was happy riding the crest of a wave for over two decades offering up this <laughs> then thought better of it and chose instead to dish up this their sales plunged, their stock price tanked, and their fashion show ratings hit rock bottom. Don't know about you, but I'm stumped. Let's try and wrap our heads around it. Up until about five years ago, say Victoria's Secret, and everyone immediately thought of this. And after 2018, the lingerie brand started serving up this. Victoria's Secret is breaking boundaries by hiring its first openly transgender model. And their sales plunged by $1.8 billion and their net income dropped by half. Just can't quite put my finger on it. I mean, answers in the comments section, guys, because I can't help you here. Oh no, wait, they actually told us why not long ago. Victoria's Secret. It's all of our responsibility to do something to make the world a better place. How your body's supposed to be here, how you're supposed to talk. You're welcome here. It turns out making the world a better place by ignoring and obliterating objective beauty standards isn't the most successful strategy for a brand focused solely around marketing beauty products. Who would have ever thought that abandoning this you know in favor of this be a turn-off for women aspiring to look sexy. Guess that's just what happens when you ditch angel wings for chicken wings. Yeah, turns out jettisoning your core customer base in favour of regurgitating glib banal variations of the message. Proud to be who I am. Proud to be. Proud to be. Proud to be. LGBTQ relationships. So they're <laughs> fine. <laughs> Proud to be queer. Proud to be. Doesn't go down too well with your core customer base. How did we get to this point? Interesting question. The point at which one of the world's premier beauty brands decided they were going to abandon objective beauty standards, then replace them with very much the opposite and think that no one had noticed or react negatively. Could it have anything whatsoever to do with the fact that their two biggest shareholders are black Rock and the Vanguard Group. Got to inflate those ESG scores. I'm gonna pump those numbers up. Those are rookie numbers in this racket. And speaking of interesting questions, it's quiz time. What do you think the next ad read's gonna be? VPN? Vitamins? No, not this time. It's finally happened. They've got me and I'm hooked. It's Raid Shadow Legends. You've all heard the name, but do you actually know what you're missing out on here? I'm talking hundreds of champions to collect a super in-depth RPG battle system. Amazing graphics, intense PvE boss fights. Raid Shadow Legends is increasing its awesome looking roster of champions with a brand new rarity mythical a step above legendary champions these new mythical champions have a special new mechanic called metamorph that allows them to change between two different forms a bit like me when i first get up in the morning compared to when i'm fired up and ready to do another rant my metamorph may be pretty legendary but it's nothing compared to what raid shadow legends is doing with mythical champions what's better than one champion two champions right now imagine a single champion that was technically two champions. A powerful warrior able to change between two forms, each with their own unique set of skills. Mythical champions two forms both use the same artifacts, accessories, masteries and blessings. So just be careful when you're choosing how to use them. These mythical champions are the most versatile champions ever seen in Raid and you can summon them from Red Primal Shards. This October be prepared for Raid's Halloween treats and tricks. Simply download Raid using the links below. Go to raidyard.plarium.com from October 15th to November 10th, enter your player ID and then venture into the haunted graveyard. Grab a shovel, pick a grave and start digging as you'll be in with the chance to dig up some amazing in-game items and even real life prizes. Ranging from epic and legendary Halloween themed raid champion to Amazon gift cards with a total value of $20,000. If you're an existing raid player, head to raidyard.plarium.com to find a special promo code that everyone can use to earn a small gift in-game. Now everybody likes free stuff, right? Especially when the free stuff in question is a legendary champion. Check 
out Sun Wukong, Raid's take on the Monkey King from Chinese mythology. He's made his grand appearance in the game and it couldn't be easier to get him. Simply log in on seven different days between now and October 23rd to get your hands on him. No demons to slay or journeys to the West to undertake here. Just log in and get this awesome legendary champion for free. With all of this exciting stuff and more coming to Raid, if you haven't started playing yet, what are you waiting for? Use my link in the description or scan the QR code to get insane bonuses. We're talking an epic champion, Drake from Lizardmen Faction, and other useful things like energy refill, skill tome, and XP booster. So don't wait, just hit my link in the description and I'll see you on the battlefield. Victoria's secret was lulled into destroying the thing that made it so iconic, because in their own words they wanted to obtain cultural relevance, otherwise known as get woke, go broke. But there's another reason why it happened, and it's called hoflation. I am a 10. A 10 out of 10. If you want to rate me and you ask me to rate me, it's a 10. Mm, big doubt. What do you rate your looks on the scale of 1 to 10? We should be rating ourselves a 10. I'm a 10. <laughs> <laughs> now you know why they wanted to get rid of all the actual 10s. Too much competition. Ask everyone to rate themselves on the scale of 1 to 10. So let's do that. 10. <clears throat> a fat fucking 10. And I meant what I said. I prefer really not to... Um... Not to speak. If I speak, I am in, in big trouble. The body positivity movement, or you could call it the Lizzofication of modern culture. <laughs> Weaponized cognitive dissonance that requires the active and constant denial of reality to enforce the delusion of contrived relativism. But reality always wins in the end. Do you find Lizzo attractive? It's very simple. Is Lizzo beautiful? Yes, she no is question. beautiful. She's beautiful? she's beautiful? Okay. How would you that feel if I said, it. she's beautiful? You look like Lizzo. Whoa! If I told you you look like Lizzo, you would punch me. But in the most brazen example of too little, too late, CNN reports that Victoria's Secret's woke rebrand is over. They're you turning faster than a fat pride activist who sees a salad and bringing sexy back. Realising that the backlash over them using, quote, thin white models as the preferred beauty standard was just a bitter and jealous vendetta driven by a minority of high-calorie enthusiasts. <coughs> Chief Executive Martin Waters lamented that, quote, despite everyone's best endeavours, it's not been enough to carry the day. Guess they just didn't celebrate America's demographic changes hard enough. By 2036, one in three students in the United States will be of Latino heritage. These are going to be the future workforce for America. In a new presentation, the brand told investors that they were basically going back to trying to capture the male lust of the brand's 2000s era heyday. Marketing products to women that will make them more attractive to men. Who knew that'd be a sales winner? Turns out Victoria's secret to success was returning to pandering to toxic masculinity. <laughs> There they were thinking that having obese transgenders wearing ill-fitting plus-size bras was the key to aspirational commercial triumph. Other major underwear brands take heed. Turns out making the most obnoxious woman on the planet your most high-profile brand ambassador wasn't a very good public relations move. Get to say. Get to say. But apparently Victoria's Secret is still, despite their financial bloodbath, a bit confused about what true sexiness looks like. Sexiness can be inclusive, said Greg Eunice brand president of Victoria's Secret. Sexiness can celebrate the diverse experiences of our customers and that's what we're focused on. Hmm, I think inclusivity and diversity is what got you into this mess in the first place. I am the beauty standard. Maybe they can get some tips on sexiness from Maxim Australia, who out of the four billion women on the planet said that this person was in the top 100 most beautiful women in the world. Her first interview was a transgender woman. It's been a long journey so far. I mean, who could deny that Danielle Laidley is pretty much in the same bracket as Margot Robbie? I think Victoria's Secret just found its new brand ambassador. Get early access to videos, exclusive live streams, and personally DM me. You've seen how much I get demonetized all the time. Well, this is how you support me. By subscribing at pauljosephwatson.locals.com. Please click the link in the description.